when the girls texted me earlier and said like, hey, can we stop by? Um, number one, they trusted me that I would be honest with them and say no if I wasn't feeling up to it. Good morning guys! Welcome to the week. Wait, yeah. <laughs> All of a sudden I had this moment where I forgot if it was Monday or not. Anyway, it is Monday and we have just been doing our normal Monday stuff. Peter edited his sermon video from yesterday and that is up on his channel. If you are interested, his channel is Peter Fry Life and there's a link in the description if you're ever interested. Um, so he edited that video, he also edited the daily vlog and put that up and um, yeah. You talking to other people? I am. Hi guys. Welcome to our day. I just got back from the post office. Yeah, we have been working in the working room. Is that gonna sit up there? I think it'll sit up there, but it's kind of cutting you off a little it's bit. It's kind of scary. Oh, yeah. it's too scary. Anyway, we've been working, and there's Ollie Boy. Say hi, Ollie Boy. Good morning, people. Hello, buddy. Hi. Yeah, we love to see your tail wagon. <laughs> um, anyway, it's our day. Welcome to the day. And thank you again for that. You guys did that. It is congratulations for surpassing 100,000 subscribers. So thank you guys for that. That was just a random, um, I don't know, I just looked over and thought about, that's from you guys, thank you. Hey guys, it's afternoon and you know what that means. Beaver? Barely, but yeah. yeah. Don't mind my bloody tissues, I had a nosebleed. <laughs> I'm more prone to nosebleeds because of my what, blood work? Because my platelets are low or something? I guess. I don't know, but whatever. So Mary's just resting. So yep. is Ollie boy. You're just chilling with Mary. I'm just getting some work done, so. We'll reconvene when this afternoon. We did get a lot of, we got like, did we get all the orders done? Yeah, just about. I think one more I have to finish. All the store orders done, and we're working on new stuff. Yeah. And <coughs> yeah, so we had a good, productive day so far. Um. <coughs> and now your lungs are being productive. <coughs> okay, I am out of bed. I decided ain't no mucus gonna stop me. So. <laughs> Oh, two friends just stopped by. You guys know Morgan, and this hey. is Kate. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Hi. So guess what we're doing? Good news. We are using this paper. So I got the crayons out, and we are going to trace ourselves. I was like, when was the last time somebody traced you? And Morgan. Um, when I was like four, I think. I think I was four, so <laughs> this is going to be fun. So it's about time we yeah. do this. Okay, maybe she's a little OCD about the I'm wrinkles. So... <laughs> Our plan is they're like doing a high five. So, okay. Yes. I might be a little out of breath, but you know what? That's totally fine. Okay. No judgment no, here, right? <laughs> I know. No, it's all good. Okay, I'm gonna start here and go that way. Look at my leg. I don't know why my leg's like, should um, I put my leg down? Like, <laughs> <laughs> I have mine crossed at first, but that's not good. I wonder if you should do a high five or, um, uh, where are you? Give me like a, a fist pump. Yes. Yes. There fist you go. Pump. Okay. okay. I'm gonna start here. <laughs> All right. Why are these so white? Crayons these days. <laughs> you have 64 to pick from. We'll find the right one. So do you say crayon or crayon? Crayon. I say crayon. 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 Okay. Don't worry. I'll be able to you. Hi, Ollie. I'll see you for the first day. Can I have a kiss? Oh, that's <laughs> 
tomorrow. Guess what? We used the paper. Woohoo! Woohoo! <laughs> what do you think, Ollie? She had her hair in a bun. So her hair was right there. And he's like, I mean, look what at my is elbow. It? Oh this yeah. Looks a and my ankle. Her arm got a little skinny right leg. here. I have a stub leg. Right. Um, a stub peg leg. leg. And a very tiny ankle. I'm glad you guys are making such good use of this paper. Yeah. Thanks for going and to the grocery store. Oh, no I wonder if anyone knows what I'll be writing there. Oh, it's so hard to tell. I don't what know. do you think her shirt's gonna say? I don't the know. Free the fret. The free people. The free people. Look at the teeth that I drew. Oh, the teeth. <laughs> yes. That is oh, awesome. and the nose and everything. It <laughs> is epic. scary. We're now having cookies and ice cream. And we are also going to have salads. I mean, Peter and I are because they must have already eaten dinner like normal people do. But Peter went to the grocery store and got some food. All right, guys, I'm making chicken and like Italian seasoning and I'm going to put it on a salad and have some dinner. So, there's what the fries are eating tonight. Did you have fun with the girls, Ollie boy? You got your little doggy? And Mary is doing her vest. We brought it down here. Remember how I mentioned in a recent video, the video about what is the best, how you can like show off with your friends? Um, they were asking questions about the vest, so Peter brought it down so that I could show it to them, they could feel what it felt like, and that sort of thing. So that was the first time I had done that in a long time. Yeah. Like it off. Yeah. Um, so that That's was fun. fun. And they were they were interested in it, so um, you know, it's something. If, it, you, if you've got medical stuff, you've got to learn to be like when people. I don't know. I mean, everybody handles their medical stuff differently whether they talk about it or they don't so for me like the fact that if people are interested in it I'm happy to share about it you know yeah um, and you guys know Mary's by nature like a CF educator <laughs> so it's a natural environment for her to show off her medical devices and Ollie shows off his doggy did you go upstairs and get that to show it off Silly. When the girls texted me earlier and said like, hey, can we stop by? Um, number one, they trusted me that I would be honest with them and say no if I wasn't feeling up to it. And... <laughs> and I had just laid down in bed because I wasn't feeling good. So I said, hey, can you come later? <coughs> so anyway, um, I am, so I, I don't know, I guess sometimes, like, I have to give my body time to rest. Um, but sometimes it's okay to push myself. And even though I like, you know, I wasn't feeling great, um, there was nothing epically wrong like I didn't have a pounding headache or anything so I got out of bed to see how I was feeling and I was feeling okay so I'm glad that they came over and thank you girls for coming and hanging out and um, also I'm grateful that they understand the fact that if I said no I can't hang out that they get it um, so anyway that was that mm -hmm. and now I'm gonna eat a salad I like was hungry for a salad earlier and then where did my appetite go but now you're gonna eat yeah sometimes you just crave iceberg lettuce right oh it's so good mm -hmm. and if you haven't heard I feel like the government decided that iceberg lettuce is like no good. Mary has a conspiracy theory about <laughs> iceberg lettuce. I feel like when I was like 10 years old, all of a sudden iceberg wasn't healthy anymore and all of a sudden romaine lettuce was like the thing. Now it's like baby greens. So I think every once in a while it's okay to have some iceberg lettuce. 
it's not like it's unhealthy. It's just not as full of rich vitamins. Yeah, I'll stick with eating croutons. We keep it real here in the Fry Life. <laughs> I'll also say that part of growing older and living life with CF, I'm knowing my body better. And so if Morgan texted me and said, hey, do you want to come out and hang out with us? Like, do you want to go out and go to Target with us or something like that? I know my body well enough that that would be too much on me. So them coming to me makes me able to hang out and do that sort of thing. I mean, sometimes I'm able to go out and sometimes I do that because that's what I want to do. But it does tend to be like a little more stressful on my body. So there's that. Cheers. Ooh. Did that hurt? Now I need to go sit down because I just hung out for two hours. There you guys are. Mary left you in the cabinet. Well, I was like looking all over the house for you guys. I've thought about, guys, we, we kind of, we don't lose you guys too often, but I've thought about like putting a, a tile, one of those like Bluetooth um, finder things. I have one on my keys and my wallet because I have a tendency to lose those things. And um, it's actually really nice. I can press the button on my watch and it. Yeah, I'll, I'll be up in a sec. Um, and I can find my key, they'll beep and I can, it'll tell me how close I am. It's kind of like um, the old, did you guys play, what did, what did you call it? Like hot, hot or cold? I think, was that cold or hot, hot or cold? Where you're like, uh, you're getting hotter, you're getting hotter. Anyways, um, I play that game with my phone and my key, or my wallet and my keys. Anyways, sometimes I need that for you guys. If you guys have been following along with my drone-a-thon of August, where I'm posting a drone video every day on my Instagram, today's video, I really wanted to get out and drone today. Um, but I didn't and so I looked through some of the footage I had taken a few days ago and um, And I had taken some footage of like this uh, There's like a stone place that's like no longer functioning nearby us and like I had taken some footage of like this old rusty tower and I was like, you know what, that's really mundane and there's nothing epic about this footage. Like some days, like the day before, I had done a double rainbow, or a couple days ago I did, I captured a double rainbow and then today it was like a rusty tower and some treetops. And I was like, you know what, but there's beauty to be found in the midst of the mundane. And I think that's one of the things we try to show here on The Fry Life, is that there's you know, some days our lives are pretty mundane and ordinary and uh, nothing spectacular. Actually, a lot of our days are like that, but there's beauty to be found there and there's joy to be found in it. You ready for bed, buddy? You ready for bed, girl? What, today's yeah. Zithromax? Mm-hmm. <laughs> I know, oh. oh! I know that reaction when she goes, oh. So Mary takes Zithromax, which is an antibiotic. She takes it Monday, Wednesday, and Friday for how many years now? Oh my goodness, that is a good question. Um, I was probably like 14 maybe when they put me on. It was right when they were doing like the research for Zithromax long-term Zithromax chronically yeah for CF patients and the research wasn't over but my doctor was involved in the research and so he recommended to our family to go ahead and start might have been before that it might have been more like in middle school yeah but, crazy uh Zofran the anti-nausea I take that on Monday Wednesday Friday unless I've just eaten like a full meal mm -hmm. when I take the Zithromax it makes me nauseous but often you usually you take the Zithromax at bedtime, so you right. usually don't have a meal. Anyways, because it would also make me nauseous in the morning. Yeah. It would make me nauseous all day. But anyway, yes, I do have a birthday coming. You are right. You, Actually. Oh, what 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 is your birthday wish? <laughs> well, we were designing some things, and 
We had a successful day today, let's just say that. We will, and it might have something to do with my birthday. Sort of. Well, you'll just have to wait and see. And? As, as always, we will, will see, see you tomorrow. tomorrow. Good, Good night. night. Ollie, do you want to be the end slate today? You can just um, mesmerize them with your cuteness. How's that sound?